Hello. Hello, my duckies. I'm gonna call you my, I'm gonna call my fans now duckies. So. Okay. Um. Whatever. So today I will be showing you how to beat multi mode for grinding for a golden crate in under 15 minutes. I think I can actually do it for 10 minutes. I'm not sure. But you'd have to like have an auto click and just skip as fast as possible. Okay, we're gonna go for 10 minutes and turn the game. So what we wanna do is place two gladiators at the front, of course. I I really recommend doing this on Toyboard since you can place gladiators like right here or here or anywhere over here. So it's really OP spot. But I really recommend you use toy board. Honestly, I don't really use toy board anymore since it's not getting a lot of not as OP anymore. Or rangers are not really good anymore on this map specifically. So they buffed how much space a tower can take up. And you can't really stack as much here anymore. Oh yeah, also I recommend you have like four gladiators. And just keep continue farming. I made a mistake. Uh, I was supposed to upgrade one. You're supposed to upgrade one gladiator to level one, and then and then uh, place in two more. But I'm just gonna farm more. So one out of eight farms to the wall. Level three and then another one to level three. And upgrade these guys to level I'm at upgrade all of them to uh one and then get another one to level two and then one to level three. When it bought in on these ten. This is this is normal for the, the boss to get through. So I don't really worry about that. Also by the time this video gets out, I don't know why, but every time I release a video, it's so low quality. I am not sure why. I have very good FPS. I usually always get 60 FPS because I don't have an FPS on my gear. I don't know how they do it, but I don't know. I'm, I get a lot of FPS, okay? And it looks like I get like 10 FPS on my videos. So, it's, e it's easier on YouTube's fault or my fault. But usually it's in my fault because whenever YouTube processes the video, it gets a lot worse than it was before. Actually, one of these guys' abilities, no, no, no. You gotta activate both of these guys' abilities to survive the wave. Max one gladiator, and then, um, continue farming. Also, you can. I'm gonna be doing a video on how you can do this without event towers. Mainly, this is for people who beat the Halloween event and who have had the gladiator. Who has have who have the gladiator? Sorry, my, my green drive. Maybe it's like melting. Just... Anyway, I'm gonna be posting another video within the next few hours on how to this strategy without the, um, the gladiator or any event towers before this letter. You are going to need this letter, so don't expect that video to not have a letter. By the way, that video is going to, um, you 
must have. You're gonna must have the sledger, and also you're gonna have to basically the video. All my videos that that show how to do how to do these strategies under under like 15 minutes or something are gonna always require event towers. Especially the gladiator, sledger, toxic gunner. You get the point. As you max your farms, you're gonna have to use the gladiator ability when the normal boss spawns right here. This is completely normal, don't do anything about it, just let it be. Just kidding, you gotta place a toxic under the floor down. And place another max you gotta place a max level gladiator in this. Just commander. And so he's the maximum gladiator. And um, is your DJ right here? Yeah, and I can't see the range. This is not so stupid, so bright. I'm not sure why this map they had to make it so bright. Yeah, I didn't reach there. Yeah, I think you have to it here. There. There. I'm not sure why they had to make these maps so bright. It's pretty annoying. Give me spamming gladiators. You shall never escape. Make sure the, uh, wait, what? Okay. Make sure the zombies never escape the spawn. Make sure to also triple stack the gladiators, meaning like you put them in the line like this. Because that's the maximum range of the gladiators to be at least slightly effective. You don't really have to change all the arms yet. Put some here. Make sure the gladiators are slicing and dicing. So, right here, I think, right? Right here. I can't tell since the range is so trash, I can't see the range since I, it, this map is so freaking bright. Okay, I can be the range, okay. 
I hear my AC running. Right now, for me, it's really hot. It's, um, it's just really humid right now. If you're just wondering. I think you can uh, triple stack. Yeah, you can triple stack. Okay. Once you reach the four, once you reach the forty troop limit, it's all your farms, and then um, can tell you anything, but uh, I can tell you that um, you gotta you better change club arms. And uh, make sure gladiators are in the uh, DJ's range. And then you gotta triple stack them. Do you know if this can reach? Um, not sure. Ah, oops, sorry. I accidentally pressed my mute sound button. Max all commanders. Make sure the toxic gunner tox, uh, targets the molten cut in the molten boss. And it should die, the molten box should die right around here. And there you go. Triumph under 15 minutes. That means you, you guys can triumph around five times an hour. Five times an hour. Five times five times five hundred equals twenty five hundred points an hour. So that means that you guys can earn twenty five hundred points an hour. Okay, so I'm basically done with this video. Okay, I'm sorry for not uploading. I will try more, but don't think I'm good either. I got one of my Roblox fans. Um, Said I was dead. I don't know why they commented that on Roblox chat, but um, yeah, I will be posting more. Be sure to watch out for the next video, and see you guys in the next one.